Hi everyone, it's Patriot Nurse here today, and in this segment I wanted to talk about something that is sobering and that a lot of people will probably have a hard time with, so I want to give you a forewarning. In this segment, I want to talk about who's going to die first when the poop hits the fan. The reason I'm telling you this is number one, so that you can assess and see if you fall into these categories, and then number two, so that you will have a temporal marker to gauge these things, and also so that you will know who to watch out for. So without further ado, let's let's go, let's trot forth. And I have classified the groups of people who are going to die first into three categories. The first of the three is basically the people who are physically disabled. If you remember Hurricane Katrina in the aftermath of it, who are the people that died? They were the brittle diabetics who couldn't get any insulin. They were the little old grannies stuck in the nursing home with no electricity to cool them down when they had heat strokes and died. And if you also remember, there were people stranded on roofs who were obese, who could not really exert enough energy to swim, who were amputees, diabetic amputees. These people are going to die first. And also within the mix are people with respiratory issues, people who are dependent upon oxygen, people who are dependent upon CPAP machines and positive pressure ventilation. They're going to die. They're going to die. And if the grid goes down, there's, no way, there's just no way to avoid this. And you need to prepare yourself for when you see this. If you have family members who fall into this category or you fall into this category yourself, be it with obesity, which is an epidemic in our country, I'm not trying to sound high and mighty or because I was at once obese, okay? I know what it's like. But you need, for your own survival's sake, to be able to hightail it out of a place. I'm not saying you have to be a marathon runner, but you need to be able to move. You need to be able to do more than just sit in a power chair and put yourself long outside the Walmart door when there are shots being fired over your head. You need to be able to do that. If you are not able to do that, then I suggest humbly that you probably need to find a safer location. If you have family members that fall into this category, then you need to make provision for them. If you are a brittle diabetic, may I suggest now that you need to store insulin and you need to store medications that are going to help you. Okay. So that's the first category. The second category of people are what I call the stereotypical government housing welfare recipients. Not everybody who it receives welfare is in this category, but the vast majority are. That's just my own personal experience from, a, from doing a lot of, of nursing and, and learning a thing or two about life. The typical government housing welfare recipients are going to probably die one of two ways. One they are going to be in that cradle to grave, help me, I can't do anything for myself, nor do I want to, mentality. And exactly like happened with Katrina, they got herded onto the buses, they got taken to the Astrodomes where they sat in filth and nastiness for days, and they died for various reasons. The second group of people, subset in this category, will turn into aggressors. These are the people who will go and loot, and they will get shot, and rightfully so, I might add. I have no sympathy for people who go and loot and get shot. That's just my thing. You can call me hard-hearted if you want to. But these people will also, note here, they will take advantage of the people in group one. They will take advantage of the physically disabled. They will take advantage of them for a myriad of reasons. But within this subset is another subset that you need to watch out for, and that is the druggie. Because I got news for you. I did alcohol drug detox within a psych setting for two years. When these people don't have their drugs, if they're addicted to alcohol, they're going to have seizures and die. Their blood pressure will shoot up and they'll have various issues, but they're going to die. If they are addicted to alcohol, or excuse me, if they're addicted to benzos or opiates, they're going to come for you. They're going to come for the people in group one, the physically disabled, if they know that they have opiates and benzos. And you better be prepared to defend yourself from them. God forbid that these druggies come because they're, they're going, if you're like I am, they're going to get what's coming to them. But they, when people are strung out on drugs or when they're detoxing and they're looking for their fix, you better watch out. This is going to be one of the most dangerous groups of people out there is the druggie. And you need to prepare for that. And I got news for you as well. If somebody's strung out on drugs and they're coming for you, it's one round of nine millimeter isn't going to touch it. Two rounds isn't going to touch it. Okay? You need to be prepared for that. The third group of people 
I have classified in two ways. It's the yuppies and the neo-hippies. And the neo-hippies and the yuppies, they have complementary but equally deficient skill sets. The Neo Hippies, let's talk about them for a second. These are your, I love my Chacos, not knocking Chacos, I'm sure they're great. I can never wear them, but these are your Chaco wearing, barefooted, I love urban gardening, live in the city, lower your carbon footprint. These people are gonna die, and here's why. Even though they have good skill sets, such as agriculture and manual things like sewing and weaving, what are they deficient in? Firearms these people typically do not like weapons and because of that they are a perfect target do you remember back in the 60s the hippies were fantastic targets for people who wanted to rob them because they were peace love and all the other good stuff they didn't carry firearms perfect target okay the neo hippies are going to be very little different they don't they're not going to be able to defend themselves and then there's the yuppies and the yuppies it's a very wide swath of people but the main thing with the yuppies is that they have incurred so much debt that they have been unable to prepare if they don't have food they're too busy paying their mortgage and their two car payments and their gym membership and their tanning membership okay these people are deficient in in supplies mainly but these people will react when it's too late because these particular folks are so caught up in the Republican Democrat cheer for your team gang that by the time the stuff goes down they will not have come to the place in their mind where they realize and can come to a grips with and can accept that they were wrong all right denial is a huge part of this so these people while they may for instance go out to the shooting range every now and then and may have some level of self-defense capability, they will not be able to mentally cope with, oh, I was wrong. So, and because of that, they will probably get out too late. Um, so I, I hope here that this has been in some way informative for you. I tried to break this down into what I, what I think are the people that are going to die first in hopes that you will take an honest look at yourself and your family and your friends and hopefully in that honest look you will try and assess if you fall into that category and if you do what you need to do about it I got news for you folks if you don't have your mobility and you don't have your respiratory functioning you're not gonna make it and you have a chance now before all this stuff happens you have a chance to fix that and I plead with you to do that you don't have to be a marathon runner you don't have to weigh 86 pounds okay just be able to move and be able to do it fast okay it doesn't I'm not talking about just puttering out there you need to be able to haul butt and run okay so this is a sober a it is the most sober video that I've done but there's a reason for it and I want you guys to know this okay this is straight from the heart here so um, please think about it it's Patriot Nurse signing off and I'll see y'all later bye